there was just a couple things I wanted to mention about July 4th that I meant to say. First, just want to say happy 4th of July. I actually like the 4th of July because it's a obviously a day off so we can rest, you know. Some of us need that rest. I think it's a great time to spend with your family and to, you know, a lot of us have barbecues, things like that. If you want to see fireworks, you know, it's kind of fun to watch the fireworks. You know, I don't have no problem with none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I have no problem with people telling me happy 4th of July. And, you know, I understand what they're doing. They're just saying happy day off or, you know, they're just saying happy holidays, you know. But just because I like having this day to do those things and to chill doesn't mean that I support the actual rhetoric behind why that day was made. I don't support that. So if you are one of those people that are black and actually are happy and proud of what the day means and you have your flags that you're waving around and you have a lot of pride in being independent because this is your independence day. I just wanted to point out to you real quick that you do know that you have no independence, right? You know, uh, black folks, when America decided to be separate from Britain, when they decided to separate and be a separate nation than the British Empire in 1776, that's why this day was so important to them, because now they were able to do what they want to do and thrive and survive apart from being locked down by the British Empire. They were independent. They could do things on their own. So, you, you know, during that time, you were considered as a black person to be an animal. You were considered subhuman. So when they decided to celebrate their independence, that didn't really include you. OK, I just wanted to make you aware of that. Um, they saw you as property. You were just. Like a dog, something that could be bought and sold at that time. They even put it in the Constitution that you were less than human. So that's the only thing I wanted to bring up real quick is that. It's interesting when I see black people. They look at it like they actually have some independence, you know. The white power structure that makes up America, they don't have to go to anybody else for anything, you know. That's what makes them independent. Black people have to go to whites for everything, whether it be land, whether it be food, water, Whatever we buy, uh, we have to go to uh, another people. We're not self-sufficient. We're not independent. We don't do things on our own. And when black people uh, such as myself that are separatists, that are pro-black and promote the idea of being independent, these same black people have a problem with that. And I, like I said in my last video, I kind of question why that is, because why is it that you can be happy, you can be proud, you can be joyous because white people want to be separatists, but when black people do it, it's hate. Don't understand that. And it's just like what Malcolm said about the house Negro. Remember that? The house Negro was happy about what Massa had, you know. They wanted to protect what Massa had, but they didn't care about anything for themselves. You know, like he said, when Massa got sick, he said, the house Negro would say, we sick. If the 
Your master's house was on fire. He didn't want the house to burn up. We got to save our house. And it's just like this when white people come to black people and be like, hey, uh, happy Independence Day. You go celebrate Independence Day. Yeah, I'm also we go to celebrate our independence. This is our independence. Same type of mindset. Our independence. We sick. We deserve an Independence Day, too. You know, when the whites decided to be separate from the British. They didn't have to beg the British to give them anything or to give them. Independence. You know. And if as black people, we want things to change or be different or to be empowered, if we want our situation to change, it's going to be because we have to do what we have to rely on ourselves to rebuild what we need to have an independent social structure, economic structure. We have to do it ourselves. And to do that must involve a separation. And if you're happy that whites can do it, you should not be threatened when black people want to do it. Because if you know anything about what whites have done and other peoples, you know that this is actually essential to survival. Because if we don't control our own communities and work towards that, then we won't have a community eventually. That's just the reality of it. We got to come to terms with that. And then once we get to the point where we can actually do that. Then we could have our own true Independence Day. That we can celebrate. What you think? So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day off. Hope you relax. Hope you enjoy it. Have fun. Peace to all of you.